President Biden is about to hold a major speech in Poland where he is meeting with top allies. Comes as the Russian military appears to have launched a new attack on a western Ukrainian city right near the Polish border. Let's go to Jennifer McGraw live with those overnight updates. Jennifer? Mark and Lynette new this morning an airstrike in Lviv. This is video on scene from a CNN photojournalist you're about to see him and his photographer confirming a fuel storage facility blew up. There is some concern that another tank will explode. This is right near a neighborhood. Now Lviv is a destination for refugees that has been largely spared from major attacks. That's right on the border where President Biden is wrapping up his four-day trip to Europe and meeting with top officials and even refugees. A reporter asking the president what he thinks of Russian President Vladimir Putin. You see this and you're, you know, you're dealing every day with Vladimir Putin. I mean, look at what he's done to these people. What does it make you think? He's a butcher. The U.S. has been sending money and supplies and aid to help those refugee efforts. Biden announced $1 billion in additional aid the Ukraine into Ukraine. Now, foreign minister saying no other country has helped them as much as the United States. And as we wait to hear from Biden, one major uh, thing he wanted to address while in Poland, while meeting with officials. Stability in Europe is critically important to uh, the United States in terms of our interest, not only in Europe, but around the world. It's now been 31 days since Russia invaded Ukraine. Thousands of lives lost and millions of refugees have fled the country. However, Russian forces appear to have stalled at their goal on capturing the capital city of Kyiv and are concentrating more on gaining control of the Donas area. That's the southeastern area of Ukraine. This military shift uh, could signal a possible exit strategy for Russia, which has run into fierce resistance and suffered heavier losses than anticipated. As the shift is focusing on the east, that airstrike that we saw again this morning is far to the west. Russian forces still putting pressure from every angle. That's very latest live in the newsroom. Lynette, back to you. Jennifer, thank you for that. An effort is underway to make war-torn Kyiv a sister city to Los Angeles. The city council voted yesterday to start the process as a symbolic gesture of solidarity with the city that has been bombarded with missiles and artillery. Councilman Joe Buscaino said the designation would make it easier for Los Angeles to donate retired equipment to assist Kyiv, like fire trucks and ambulances. Now, if it passes, the Ukrainian capital would become LA's 26th sister city, joining the likes of Athens, Berlin, and Vancouver. 